Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on here um, and do a quick what to expect and what to see on a call sheet for you up and coming makeup artists um, and anybody else who wants to uh, hop on here and see how to read a call sheet properly. Um, as you will see when you get an email, um, depending on if you were on a commercial, um, if you were on an indie film, if you were on a huge big uh, feature film union project, um, a series, uh, what else? Even just a quick photo shoot, they also have call sheets. Um, let me see. Uh, and just normal um, non-union uh, TV shoots or film shoots, you'll always have a call sheet and you'll have to learn how to read it properly. Okay, I'm gonna put my glasses on so you can see, or sorry, so I could see. Um, I'm gonna start with, uh, if you're a newbie um, and you're just starting out in the industry, uh, you're going to uh, get a call from the union if you're a permit, and they will probably ask you to contact the head of the department or her key or first assistant to um, get the production offices uh, email or call phone number and you can call and reach out to them and ask them to put you on the distribution list so that you will also get the email. If it is um, midnight and you still haven't received a call sheet, I would reach out to the production office again or send off a quick text to your, um, your contact for the day and they will forward that to you. Uh, don't wait until the morning because your call time could be 5 a.m. and then you have missed your call. And that's sort of not a good first day start. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a quick rundown on these call sheets. I have, as you can see, blocked out all the important information. You'll be able to see um, beside me here um, the call sheet in its detail when I, uh, after I'm finished here, I'm gonna post them in detail. Okay, so uh, you have a, um, a, this is a union call sheet. Um, sometimes they do not allow you to print them off. Um, and they, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but it has my name through here, uh, so that if you do print it off and you lose it and somebody comes in contact with it, they have your name and it's your issue that you need to clean up. Okay, so um, at the top usually is the production um, it's name and then you will have the date, a um, the block if it's a series, which this is, uh, block your shooting, the day that you're shooting and day of, of how many days. Um, unit call, okay, this is so important um, for you up and coming and first time on set. Do not go by this as your call time. Unit call means that this is the gen general unit call for production. Um, so everybody, well, um, does have their own call sheet, uh, sorry, their own call time in the grid, oh, sorry, in this grid here, and you will have to locate um, your, your name and your call time, and you go off of that. Please do not go off of the, um, the unit call that's here, 0730, because if you do that, your call time could either be two hours pre-call, or it could be a two hour call after, depending on what you're coming in for. So always look at the grid and always look to see um, your name and your call time beside it. Okay, underneath that, underneath that there is going to be uh, your lunch call. And then it, it will says, um, in this one we have a meeting that day, so it'll tell you um, if there is a meeting and what time and what location that would be and it will ask you to look at the grid for that information. Over here is you, is the producers, the production company again, the first AD, the director, the line producer um, and so forth and then it will have um, your safety meeting information there and it will have links um, to any labor laws that you might want to look. Not everybody has that, but now with COVID, um, we have to change things up a little bit. So always look for that. And then um, you have um, your uh, second and your first ADs. 
contact information here. Um, so look for that if you have any issues. And then I see that I've blocked it. This is all of the, um, the important people's emails um, and phone numbers if needed. Okay, and then um, here in the small little block here, it talks about your weather, um, the high of, low of, uh, if it's going to rain, and um, wind and so forth, sunrise and, and sundown, just in case you're shooting outside so you can get your shots in if needed. Okay, and over here, um, location one, tech land, base camp, crew parking, cast and COVID uh, check-in, which is usually at base camp. Um, if it's not, it'll indicate um, to you where it is. And then um, uh, background, if you have any background, uh, background parking and background holding, always look at the grid to see, because if you're in just doing um, makeup for background, most likely you will report to the base camp. So know where that is, know where the trailer is, and then you will um, make your way either by shuttle or by car, um, if you have one, to background holding where you'll be processing. So normally if you are a first time on set, um, typically you'll be doing uh, background. So be um, mindful of looking where background is being processed and where base camp is so that you can check in with your head of the department if she requires you or he requires you to do so. Okay, um, then it says, talks about lunch. Um, the lunch is at the location and uh, lunch time. Um, sometimes they do a staggered lunch depending on how the day is going. Um, you will get that information from the, um, the trailer. And as well, um, sometimes they will push lunch. So this is just a general guide of to when lunch might be. Okay, and then it talks about breakfast, what time um, the, uh, the truck will arrive and what time breakfast will be ready. Um, look for a link to order your lunch. Um, nowadays we've been ordering lunches via um, a, a link as well as uh, breakfast orders and any other orders that you want from the craft truck throughout the day. Because of COVID, they're not doing anything out um, and everything has to be prepackaged and made personally. So uh, download that app and uh, go onto the link and follow the instructions accordingly if you want to be fed for the day. Okay, um, any in this little section here, um, that just talks about all the important things that you need to know uh, about that day and what your protocols are. Um, any, um, any other important information will be in here. Please read call sheets carefully and in full detail if you miss something that could really um, impact your day. Okay, um, in this little section here, it talks about the scene, your scene number, um, the characters that are in it, um, how many sheets that we were shooting that day, how many pages I should say, and how many actors are in that day, and if it's interior or exterior. Always look at that because you need to dress uh, accordingly. Okay. Um, so I've just uh, quickly highlighted, um, so one, two, and three are my cast members. Um, I highlight them with different colors so that I know which scene they are in. And then if there are any specific notes that I need to, I write them in here so that I know that um, if we have to add sweat or take sweat away or add a bruise or so forth, I, I have that right in front of my face and I don't have to uh, go back to my notes. Um, uh, speaking of notes, if you go to, um, could be on the back or maybe on the sheet, because uh, normally call sheets are much longer than this, um, you will look for makeup notes and then it'll show you your scene number and your notes. Um, if you need a refresher, and then you can go back into any other notes um, to, to verify that. And then I always put them in on the front here, right in there, so I don't forget. Um, so if you are doing background, um, I background is down here. They are different color code. Uh, highlight them and then highlight them in in the um, on, on the call sheet so that you know when your background is playing and in what scene so that you can make sure that you uh, have the appropriate continuity if there is any continuity. Okay, um, and then down here, as I said, these are all the characters uh, for the day. Um, 
usually from one until whatever, a hundred, if you have a hundred cast members, they will be numbered, their name, um, their call times. Um, so keep track of call times so that if you have to go back into background holding or you have to go back into the trailer to process someone, you look when they're uh, coming in and you can uh, head back. Make sure you tell someone that you're leaving to do that. Okay, um, and what else do I have in here? Uh, this will tell you when they're blocking. Um, a lot of times they will sometimes pull them from you to block and then they'll send them back so you can finish your processing. Um, blocking just means that they're going to go over the scene, make sure that they have lighting and cameras set up. And once they're doing all that processing and setting up, you can finish doing um, your makeup touches if you need to do so. Okay, uh, it will also tell you what set you're on um, and uh, what scene you are doing for that day. Okay, um, what else? Oh, at the bottom here, all the way down, you can look here. Um, it will have your PMs, your first ADs, uh, your location manager, your um, production uh, coordinator, your second AD, and so forth, all the way down the ladder. It'll give you the name and number. So if you need to get a hold of somebody, if you're gonna be late, if you can get a hold of your makeup department, um, always reach out to somebody um, for that, okay? Um, that's that. And then, like I said, you can go on your grid and you can find your name and your call time and you can go from there. Okay. Um, on another call sheet, on that call sheet um, that you get through your email, you're also going to get additional links. I will also uh, show that as well. Um, and click on all of those links um, because there's important information in every single one of them. This is one, I just printed it off. This is the uh, grid for the location for your set. Um, it will have your uh, production office to studio um, directions um, and uh, your location and base camp. And on the back here, um, it just goes in further detail, your location, um, uh, tech and craft and so forth, base camp and crew parking, um, location one for tech, all your all the information that you need some green pain parking um, a lot of times they will have um, COVID check-in also on this map so this is not um, always on the call sheet it's an additional link so make sure you um, click on that so you have that as well okay and then um, because this is just an example because we were shooting with minors um, we needed to have all of the appropriate protocol when working with minors so make sure you click onto that um, link and go through it in detail so that you don't um, get yourself caught in a situation that you don't want to be in. So this is a lengthy uh, document. It also has my name written on it so that um, if you do lose it, it knows who it belongs to and you never want it to be left alone because there's very, very um, personal information on this that could cost somebody some um, money and hopefully not your, your job. Okay, so go through all of that as well. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, go to a commercial. Okay, so here is a commercial call sheet. Um, one sheet, that is it. Very, very little detail um, on here. I will uh, also post that, but a lot of the same information on there, just at a smaller scale and you um, don't want to miss anything. So. Of course, everything that's blacked out is production um, information and personal information, so I don't um, want to show that. Uh, but it's the same, um, you know, what you're shooting, the day, um, day one of one, the client agency, production company, um, location, um, uh, your base camp, uh, their address, and um, set cell and crew parking um, is on here as well with a phone number that you can reach if you are lost um, and need help getting to where you need to be okay uh, it'll also give you your uh, production call which is like i said before production call doesn't mean that it's your call time so also go onto the grid find your name and your call time and your actually location so shooting location and where your processing location are never uh, essentially never rarely at the same place. So don't just look at location of shot, where the shot's being done. Look at your location of where you need to report to and you will get there safe and sound. 
Okay. Um, uh, so your, uh, sorry, your second meal and wrap. Um, a lot of times they won't give you a wrap um, because we never go an eight hour day. It's usually 12, 14, 15, 16 hour days, depending on what you're shooting. But on this one, they gave us an estimate wrap time because it was day uh, pendant. So we um, had to work with um, the natural light. And once it got dark, we were done. Uh, okay, uh, so then I also give you the nearest hospital. It has to be a physical hospital. It can't be a um, clinic. It needs to uh, be able to, um, sorry, the, the hospital needs to be able to treat you medically if need so. Okay, um, uh, that's about it. There's uh, sometimes there are specific notes down here um, that you might need to look at if you have any um, specifics for your job to finish it or do it that day. So always look for any specifics um, if you haven't uh, made contact with your head of the department or if you are on your first commercial, make sure that, um, I would make sure that you also look to who the talent is if you don't have that information. Um, if you can't get through to their agent, ask production if you can speak to the talent personally and ask if there are any requirements or anything that you need to know um, allergy wise or any personal information that they need to share with you to make your day um, go back uh, smoother. Okay. Um, here is um, uh, uh, another commercial but on a much larger scale. Call sheet is actually smaller than the other one um, but they did put your location um, map on it as well and then some other specific notes general crew, crew call and then again in your grid um, you will look to see what your call time is and your location and so forth um, a lot of times they will give you if they are saying parking on own um, or self park which means that they do not have crew parking and it's your responsibility to park your car um, you're more than welcome to park it uh, wherever you want, but they will always give you a suggestion of to where um, you will be parking. If you see um, walk away lunch, that means that there is no catering. Um, they may have craft for you, so I bring some snacks just in case, but walk away lunch means that they will usually give you per diem um, and you will uh, be responsible for leaving site and grabbing your own food. Um, let me just see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. Uh, let me just go through these. I don't typically print off my call sheets anymore. Um, I always just keep them on my phone. Um, but if I'm gonna have a big day and I need uh, everything to be in front of me, I will do that. Okay, so. Um, I'm just trying to see. Oh, uh, so this is first team call sheet. There may be a second unit call sheet. Um, make sure you look at that because uh, sometimes they'll put it all in the same call sheet. But if you are on the second unit, which means just a B unit of the first unit, um, you're at a different location doing different talent. Um, so make sure you also check on the grids if you are uh, shooting um, at a different location and you are on second unit, you don't want to show up on this first unit set when you're supposed to be at second unit. Um, also, when you look at your call time, if your call time says 5 a.m., I would always give myself a half hour buffer um, so that you can, if you do get lost or there's traffic or you get to the location and you are a 20 minute drive from base camp or crew parking to where you are needed to be processing. Um, you don't want to show up at 5.30 and be uh, a half hour late because you have to get to where you need to be and then you need to set up to be ready for, for talent. Okay, um, okay, what else? Um, okay, uh, also with, with um, uh, COVID being here, it's very important to, um, be very thorough on what the COVID protocols are on this particular set that you're going on. Every set is different. For me, I go to the max so that I know that I'm safe. It doesn't matter what set I'm, I'm on. Some require you to wear shields, protective glasses, and um, masks. Um, 
but some only require you to wear a mask and doesn't always mean to need to be in a 95 but um, I wear all of those so I always just check to make sure what the COVID protocols are and who your COVID compliance person is if you have any questions regarding that okay um, also uh, for lunch typically um, I forgot to talk about this when we were on lunch uh, usually it is a five to six hour morning um, from crew call so if crew call is six you can add six hours to your six o'clock 6 a.m. call time and that will be lunch um, sometimes in the makeup department or hair department and wardrobe we have a pre-call sometimes it could be three hour pre-call um, so you know base your morning on that on um, if you need snacks or if you need something because sometimes you can't always get out of processing and you can't always get out of the trailer to go and grab something so a crew lunch is always based off of crew call not your call time um, also find out always on there it says um, your walkie channels um, so which channel you need to be on so that you can communicate with the appropriate people so always check that and also um, when it uh, um, uh, what was I gonna say I just lost my train of thought I was talking about walkies and uh, yeah oh uh, also when it comes to lunch make sure that you communicate with production accordingly if you have any dietary issues because it's not their responsibility to um, take care of you you need to let them know um, what you can and cannot eat and hopefully they can um, accommodate you accordingly okay i think that is it um if you uh follow me um and um below and send out any comments that you have that you might want me to answer if I didn't already cover it feel do but uh, make sure you to follow leave a comment and I will get all the information to you that you need to make your first day on set the best day you could ever have and that nobody would actually know that it was your first day